August 9th, 2015, Hartford, Connecticut, Day 87. Six states in seven days. This is it, number six of the week, number 43 of the summer. True Colors, Hartford, Connecticut. 43, let's Team Strug, day 87 here at True Colors with Robin. Robin, can you say hi, introduce yourself, 10 seconds or less. Robin McCallan, Executive Director, True Colors, Education and Advocacy for LGBTQIA, BCDEFG Youth. This is an agency that works to make sure that kids of all orientations and genders are welcomed, valued, and affirmed. Robin, why do you do what you do, 10 seconds or less? Because life was really hard for me as an adolescent coming out in a time when people didn't, and I wanted to make it better for other young people. Robin, what's your favorite part of your job? 10 seconds or less. My favorite part of my job is working with young people and getting to see the world through their eyes. That's why I have heteroflexible as a word I never had before. Robin, in 10 seconds or less, Give me your best piece of advice for someone who is struggling with their gender identity right now. Trust yourself and look for allies. That there are people who care and who want to make a difference. Reach out, but if you can't, hold. Robin, where can people learn more about your wonderful organization? 10 seconds or less. OurTrueColors.org, OURTrueColors.org, or catch us on Facebook. Day 87 continues at True Colors with Chris. Can you introduce yourself, Chris? Tell us who you are and uh, what you do. I am Chris. I am from Portland, Maine. Well, originally from Harvard, Connecticut. I'm a junior in college at SMCC. So, yeah. So I used to be a kid who did whatever the hell he wanted, um, just didn't care. But now I'm like head of the head of my shoulders, and it's really awesome. Academy is a summer program for LGBT youth to actually learn about the past and not just call themselves gay without knowing anything. Graduation is a celebration of progress. It's not going to end today. They're going to keep learning and keep growing and becoming an awesome individuals. True Colors is not just an organization. They're my family. I run to them for everything and I couldn't survive without them, honestly. Welcome back. My name's Chris Strub. I'm the first man to live stream and Snapchat in all 50 U.S. states, and trust me, I love social media just as much as you do. I spent two years as the social media director at an ad agency in New York. But at some point in your life, you wake up and you say, what is it that I want to be remembered for? In 2013, I thought I had life all figured out, and then she cheated on me. I decided that I needed a change. I love social media, but social media is nothing without a great story. Some people think that this is the most important part of social media. It's not. To me, social media is about telling your story, regardless of what technology you have. Organizations like True Colors have unbelievable stories to tell, and so I decided to go tell them. I am far from the best storyteller I know. I don't even blame you if you're tap, tap, tapping through all this. But I'm learning. I'm getting better. I'm figuring this thing out. I didn't have the right camera. I didn't have the right microphone. I certainly didn't have the right lighting. And I'm certainly not as pretty as your boy Vincenzo Landino. But always remember, done is better than perfect. I took a totally different approach to Snapchat last summer, and people seem to like it. My name is Brian Fanzo, I social fans, and this guy Chris Strug taught me everything I know about Snapchat. The man changed the game for me. Guys, if you think that Brian Fanzo is, knows how to use Snapchat, actually this guy right here knows how to use Snapchat. Trust me. Thank you. It's funny, that's two Saturdays in a row now that I've swapped Snapchat accounts with people who love the Dallas Cowboys. In fact, Vincenzo Landino, he's the king of custom Snapchat geofilters. Now I know I've gotten this one straightened out since last week, right?
Seriously, though, this is what I love about Vincenzo Lin. It's okay if I just keep this on, right? Vincenzo is way more than an ideas guy. He's a doer. And so I'm going to tell you about what I did at True Colors that could be a great idea for you to build your Snapchat. Now, I'm going to warn you, this idea is going to require a little bit of actual work. You know, get up off your couch, go outside, go do something. You heard Chris mention earlier Draguation. It was a big celebratory event that night in downtown Hartford. I got to Draguation. I saw they had a red carpet set up with a big photo backdrop, and I was like, holy crap, this is perfect. So here's what I did. With Robin's permission, I became the official photographer of Draguation. So people would walk in, they would go up to the red carpet, I would offer to take their picture and upload it to my Snapchat store. Okay, now here's the key. Ready? Get cards made with your snap codes on them and then hand the person who you, whose picture you took your card. Chris, you say, well, I'm going to an event that doesn't have people that use Snapchat. Well, you know what? Why don't you put your email address on the card and say, hey, I'll email you. Honestly, I love this idea for much more than just the nonprofit world. Say you're going to social media marketing world and you want a reason to go talk to Jay Bear and Brian Kramer and Kim Gar. You want people to start providing value to you? Start by providing value to them. Hey, what's up, everybody? I stole my account back from Chris Strub. Well, not really. I'm only back for like one second because I have to announce something. If you want to hear more about Chris's Strub Snap Swaps project, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we're talking about it on Blab. Check out the link. Beautiful spring day here in Watertown. We're gonna go check out the car. What do you say? Don't mind the dogs. This is the Honda Hotel. It's a 2007 Honda Accord. I slept in this car 14 times last summer. The car is covered in signatures from the nonprofit organizations that I worked with around the United States. There's Tucson, Jacksonville, Pittsburgh. New Mexico, North Dakota, Montana. I mean, I'm probably most proud of the license plate holder here. I don't know if you guys caught that I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. On Vincenzo Landino's account, of course. If you follow Vincenzo Landino on Snapchat, you know that custom Snapchat geofilters are all the rage. But all summer long, I didn't really need one. Team Landino, we have arrived at a very special spot. There you are. Well, this is my neighborhood Applebee's. I happen to live here in lovely Watertown, New York. I had a bit of a personal connection with Applebee's because my sister was a bartender at Applebee's on Long Island for, I don't know, six, seven years, like a long time. Last summer, I became an Applebee's fan forever. Look, there's a million places to eat. I mean, even here, like, there you go. Boom. Right? Last summer, Applebee's did this thing called Taste the Change. With these three people, you might know one of them really well. Probably the other two also. Now, I'm not a pretty Italian guy. I don't have 100,000 YouTube subscribers. I don't have 64,000 friends on Twitter. But I thought this campaign, Taste the Change, was the best thing I've ever seen. Why? Because a brand invested in people. Good people. But if I've learned one thing through social media over the last year, it's this. Celebrate the wins of others. This Taste the Change campaign has been over for a long time, much like my road trip. But you know what? When I went to Applebee's in Lansing, Michigan, because Vincenzo Landino sent me a gift card, that made my day, it made my week, it made my month. Like, let's pretend I'm not getting emotional about this, because it was a big deal to me. Man, the night before that, I slept in my car, and then that night I'm going to Applebee's for free because a brand wanted to help me out. I don't belong in this conversation. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not Sonny Leonard Doozy. You know what I mean? Who am I? But for a brand and for friends like that to go above and beyond for me, if you don't think I'm going to do the Applebee's dance every chance I get, the little things matter, guys. They do. You know, so thank you, Enzo, again, from an Applebee's halfway across the country. I promise you I'm not getting paid a single dime to say this. 
But thank you, Applebee's, for three little pigs and a Diet Coke in Lansing, Michigan. You know what, while we're on the topic, here's another brand that has a forever lasting impact on my life. Last October, I was the Chobani fan of the week. Last summer, when I'd sleep in my car, wake up, go inside the Walmart, go grab a Naked Juice and a Chobani every time. I bet a marketing representative from Chobani happenstance at a street fair in Greenville, South Carolina last fall. And I basically said, hey guys, I think your product is the best thing ever. I ate it every day and it pretty much saved my life on this big crazy trip I went on. A world where the barriers between people and brands is shrinking. Vincenzo Landino and 52 Creative live at the edge of this weird relationship. They do. Vincenzo himself has done some awesome campaigns with some awesome brands. Tinder, Gorilla Pasta, obviously Applebee's. So why do I root so hard for these types of things to happen? Why do I root so hard for Vincenzo and Figo Americano and Shonduras and all, you know? I, because I am a huge proponent of brands working with influencers to get their message out. It makes perfect sense. So what was I saying about remember to celebrate others? When one of us wins, we all win. You watch. In 12 to 18 months, when Brian Fanzo, Sonny Leonard Uzi, and Vincenzo Landino are the public faces of Applebee's, then you look at those guys and say, wow, if they can do this, why can't I? So I get to the register, and it happens to be this cute girl who um, I know is a runner around the area, right? And as soon as she sees me, she goes, Sir, would you like some extra carry-out assistance today? And meanwhile, I mean, I have, like, five pounds. Nothing. She's smiling at me, and I'm like, Sure, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she's like, D Did you say yes? And I'm like, Yes? So she like presses the little button. <laughs> and the guy comes over. And here I am thinking that this girl is actually going to talk to me. Uh. <laughs> it's the never ending bachelor life right here on Vincenzo Landino. So as crazy as this seems, this project is starting to wind down. It started 43 days ago on February 27th with this young lady, Caitlin Moose. Go follow her. 43 days ago, I took everybody to this spot around this time of night and said, oh boy, by the end of this project, it's going to be nice and warm and I can go show it. Hey, in a little town called Watertown and there's not a lot to it, but this is a pretty spot. Get your screenshots ready if you want. Tweets. I got 20 minutes till the Vincenzo Landino show, and I still got a shower. <laughs> we better hurry up. Remember, I'm going live on the Vincenzo Landino show, live on Blab in about what, nine minutes. Cheers. It's a tongue twister. It is. You know, then collectively you have more power, and I think that's, especially within our social media marketing community, I think that's something that more people seen like 98 or 99. Uh -huh. Uh, what good days those were. Guys, they were. Get your snap swap done. <laughs> this is true. I also need I to get your snap swap done. My dog has to pee and I'm really tired. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Jessica. Thank you. Everybody, thank you for checking out Chris Drub. He's the man. Uh, I'm about to take over his account in like an hour. So check me out at Josh underscore Green.
Well, that's all she wrote, guys. Um, we started that bleb at 8 p.m., and it just ended at 12.30 a.m. So we were going to do one hour. It went four and a half. If you did not see what Vincenzo Landino did on my account today, you are missing what I would say was the best thing I've ever seen on Snapchat. Thank you so much, Enzo. Oh my gosh. Um, I need to hurry back up over to my own account, so I sure hope that I will see you there.